isn't just this project. I mean, there are other car projects. I mean, the D45, for example, is a very interesting urban car. There's a model of it over there, yeah. and there's a film here. And that is a basis of an ongoing research. But this car, um, demonstrably, does more with less. It, you can compare it with the car of the time, because it used the same engine, used the same gear train, mm. and it used half the fuel for the same distance. It went considerably faster. It carried more people. Um, it's streamlined. It's working with nature. So, so only positive things. Very positive things. Did, did, did you find out about mistakes? Or what did you learn by um, putting so much energy into I think studying that, I this mean, car? Uh, in a way, it was many things. It's about the aesthetic beauty of the car. It's a very beautiful object. And again, the things that Bucky created had an extraordinary intrinsic beauty, maybe because they did work with nature, they did learn from nature, working with the elements, in the same way that our buildings also work with the elements, work with nature, reduce the energy in that sense. Um, it's a quest for a, a green architecture, an architecture which consumes less energy, but also an architecture which lifts the spirits, which makes you feel better. And Bucky was about all of those things, and this is a very early example of that thinking embodied in an automobile. Um, and in another sense, it was an homage to Buckminster Fuller. Um, and also, as you might have heard at the press conference, it was also by being able to borrow the only surviving car has no interior, no windows, and is in a very sad state, we were able to, as a charitable contribution, restore that car and then give it back in a much better state yeah. to the National Automobile Museum in America. And how is it driving? Is it's, fun. it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> yes. It's great. Um, and this remarkable ability to turn in its own length. Is, is quite is quite special. So you think there's a potential for architects no, to, to learn? From? I think that one learns from everything. I'm I would never pretend that, that this is how can I say a blueprint for a car of today. Yeah. Technology has moved on, but there are lessons to learn from the past. Important lessons, um, and a lot of lessons from his urban car in the early 40s, which was really a series of concept drawings and sketches. And uh, this film up here, uh, in a way, rediscovers that and, and shows it in the context of our uh, carbon-free, waste-free, uh, experimental city in the desert at yes. Mazda. So, and Otto um, Eicher wrote a book, uh, Critique on the Car. Oh, yes. He was skeptical about the shape of a car like uh, a Zeppelin. But Otto Eicher uh, had a lot in common with Bucky. He was also, at heart, a philosopher. Yeah. He was more than a designer. Yes. Um, so they do have something in common. They are both kindred spirits. And I was very privileged to know them both and to learn from them both as, uh, as dear friends.